here with my sister, and uh, so I was saying that, Yas Yasmin, I was actually pretty afraid of Aladdin. The genie became a snake. It's, it's actually known as Uncanny Valley, is a phenomenon when animations are drawn kind of like humans, but close enough, but so close um, that it kind of gets like, the forms of humans get uncomfortable. Um, do you remember me being afraid of Aladdin? No, to be honest, I don't have a memory as good as yours. Okay, and you have kids, like, uh, you have, uh, kids, you have an eight-year-old kid. I was maybe around eight when I saw Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Would you take your kid to see Aladdin with, like, the genie and, like, all that stuff? The animation one or the... the 1993 Aladdin. Yeah, they had already actually both seen it before we went and took them to the... Okay, because I actually think, one. I actually think one thing that is nice about the new movie is that Aladdin is not as scary, I don't think. I think the genie is a bit more controlled back or maybe the giant bird what do you think yeah i think you're probably right i think they i mean real life is always a little bit scarier than animation but i think you're right that the animation was very dark and very yeah scary. the cave of wonders was really dark and i don't i remember the cave of wonders not mm -hmm. being nearly as much and especially with more cgi these days cgi is the way they create special effects oh. you can tell that things are a lot more fake um so I think that because it's a remake, this was basically a genre exercise. This was an exercise in, here's my take on doing a film that's been done before. What kind of changes did you like about this film um, versus not? I wasn't sure I was going to love it because I didn't, I, I was a little bit nervous about how he could compete with Robin Williams, um, but I thought Will Smith did a really nice job making it his own. Um, I thought the music was really good. Um, I liked I liked the characters that they casted. Um and I actually found myself enjoying it. I mean it's a bit it's a bit forgettable. Like now a couple months out, I don't remember it that well as much as I do the animation, but it might be because I saw the animation a few times. Mm -hmm. Um but overall I thought it was um I thought it was it was actually good. And and they added a couple of songs. They added record. one song called I think there was Speechless. a little bit more sort of feminism. Yeah, also, there is feminism, and there's yeah. also, well, it's partially it's feminism, but it's also just kind of grounding the characters, because the king, Jafar, just seemed more like to have more better motives, I think. You mm. could see what their wants and needs were better. Mm. Um, yeah, I think that also was that she, she had goals, she had wants. It wasn't just like, I just want to be a princess, or I want to like be this or that. I don't think the original mm. princess was, 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 wasn't... A strong woman. Do you remember the movie, Matan? This Why don't is you come here and my ne nephew. Here. Why don't you come away from that? Do you remember Aladdin? Um. Did you see either version? Yeah, I think I saw the the one in the movie theater with the live people. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> Was it scary at all for you that movie? No. I think that's a good thing that the movie can be a bit more accessible. Um, what do you think about the uh? What do you think about, like, the animation or the... I personally thought when it was A Whole New World when they were doing that, the ride, mm -hmm. the or the, the song, it was just extremely fake. But when they were on the ground, I felt like the actual scenery, like, I felt like I was convinced that they basically built a, a like, a little Mideastern, a little Middle East city. Oh, yeah. Why are you pointing the camera at me? <laughs> no, just to get your thoughts. Um, yeah. I, I think, yeah, the scenery was really cool on the... Um, the way the, the, what do you call it, the city around the castle looked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last it question. me of the Middle East. Does the city, does the movie, I think, I generally ask, does the movie have a reason for existing? Um, As a person who, you're not necessarily a movie connoisseur, you're just a person with kids who want to go to a movie. I mean, listen, we went, <coughs> we saw it. Um, I think that some of the old animation is probably not as appealing to um, our kids because they've seen such great animation. You know, like if you try to watch Snow White, for example, it sort of looks a little ridiculous and old and dated and sounds dated. Um, I still think Aladdin looks normal and, you know, is good. Um, but perhaps for our kids... Um, Maybe it is dated. I don't know. So let's say the director's a talented so. person. Let's say Will Smith's a talented person. Let's say Naomi Scott, who played uh, Princess Jasmine, is a talented person. Mm -hmm. Maybe their efforts could be better spent on a new idea.
Do you know what percentage of yeah. movies in 2019 <coughs> have come from pre-existing ideas or sequels to other things? No, I mean, I think it's a good point, and it, it, yeah, I haven't seen Lion King yet. Um, that might have even I, had I, less of a reason for existing, because it didn't deviate much from the script. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, it's definitely a good point, like, why are we not being creative? But it's interesting, I mean, we all go and we see it, so we support it, right? I mean, all of us who are Star Wars fans go out and see the Star Wars spinoffs, because we're curious, and we're wedded to that, you know... Um, whatever you call it. There are also, I mean, there are also degrees to which something's new. If it's Star Wars, you are writing a different ending, or you're you're updating it maybe a little bit to reflect current political, yeah, or socioeconomic <laughs> times. Maybe the original Darth Vader character was a little bit of a naive villain, and this one maybe a bit more well-rounded. Maybe it has more to say or different things. You want to know where the story went. In this case, you already know the ending. Yeah, I, I would say that, you know, if there had been something new on the market that same weekend that was good for kids, we probably would have chosen the other thing. I mean, I think if mm. I recall correctly, when it came out, it wasn't uh, it wasn't like Thanksgiving weekend where you've got your choice of, like, four awesome new movies. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So I think that it was probably smart on Disney's part not to try to you know, to save Frozen 2 for Thanksgiving weekend and not, you know, a remake. Um, overall, I mean, I thought it was good. I thought it was entertaining. It was like a good family movie. Um, but, you know, I, I agree. I mean, for sure, we'd love to see more originality. And um, But from Disney's perspective, they're just doing what... It's a sure bet. It's very low yeah. risk. It's low risk. They know that people are going to go see it. All right, well, that wraps it up for now. Thanks for contributing, Yasmin. All right, take care, Orin. Bye. Bye. You forgot the... Make oh, sure to leave a like on this video.